It's a shame Honda hasn't sent me one of these sooner because even in this age of crossovers, I've talked positively about a couple of other midsize sedans recently, and you guys told me you bought them. I'm Chris Model Academics, and today we're going to take a look at this totally redesigned 2023 Honda Accord Hybrid Touring. Outside of covering the last gen launch in 2018, I haven't had an Accord for review since 2017, which means I couldn't talk about one positively or negatively since I hadn't driven one. But today is the day, so pay attention. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching. Long overdue is this 2023 Canyon River Blue Metallic Honda Accord Hybrid Touring. Standard features include LED headlights, daytime running lights and tail lights, 19 inch alloy wheels, remote trunk, heated power door mirrors with turn indicators, capless fuel filler, and remote engine start. Inside, you'll find a leather wrapped steering wheel, 10 way power leather trim driver's seat with memory, four-way power leather trim front passenger seat, Bose premium audio with 12 speakers, 12.3 inch color touchscreen display, rear view camera, Google built in, head up display, wireless phone charger, three amp USB charging and audio interface, power moonroof with tilt feature, wireless Android auto and Apple CarPlay, dual zone climate control with air filtration system, rear console vents, heated and ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, auto dimming rear view mirror, 60-40 split fold down rear seat back, fold down rear seat center armrest, floor mats, rain sensing wipers, and smart key entry system with push button start. Safety features consist of Honda sensing that includes adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking system, lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation, and traffic jam assist. This car also has driver's front and front passenger airbags, driver and front passenger side airbags, rear side airbags, side curtain airbags, and driver's and front passenger knee airbags. There's low speed braking control, auto high beams, front and rear parking sensors, rear seat reminder, traffic sign recognition, blind spot information system, and rear cross traffic monitor. Total MSRP is $36,790. While I thought the last Accord looked nice, this Accord has a more mature and stately presence. Check out the long hood and fast back roof line. Plus, this Accord is 2.7 inches longer and a tiny bit wider too. The trunk is acclaimed best in class with 16.7 cubic feet of space. You can fold the seats down for a bit more. Strangely, the releases are only in the trunk, so you have to pull those first, then go inside to lay them down. On a plus side, there are also grocery hooks and a storage compartment beneath the floor where the tire inflator kit resides. Powering this hybrid is Honda's 4th gen 2 motor system that features a 2 liter dual overhead cam VTEC 4 cylinder engine that makes 146 horsepower and 134 pound feet of torque, and 2 electric motors, 1 traction that produces 181 horsepower and 1 generator that makes 161 horsepower. Total system output is 204 horsepower all delivered to the front wheels. A 4 mode drive system allows you to choose between Econ, Normal, Sport, and Individual, which allows you to customize engine, climate, and steering parameters. There's also an EV mode that runs on electric power alone during low speed driving. 
EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 46 miles per gallon city, 41 miles per gallon highway, and 44 miles per gallon combined. This allows for well over 500 miles of driving on a single tank of fuel. Auto Academics saw an average of 47.9 miles per gallon during testing on the recommended premium fuel. One reason why mid-size sedans have historically been so popular with families is because of the interior space they provide. And this Accord provides quite a bit. Head and shoulder room are good and leg room is exceptional. These seats are comfy and supportive, but the back panel flexes, making this strange noise. <laughs> and it does so on both sides, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that or if it's an anomaly with this press vehicle. Other than that, they feel good. Other stuff that's good are the AC vents, heated outboard seats, three amp USB-C charge ports, and this large center armrest with cup holders. Up front, things are pretty nice too. The seats have good bolstering and the steering wheel feels great. The leather is soft and I appreciate all the soft touch materials on the center console and dash. The infotainment system is responsive and has a bright clear font as well. The radio sounds good too, but it's missing some current day features like skip and rewind for live programming as well as satellite radio. It does have Google built in though, which might make up for all of that. For all you iPhone users out there, and you can let us know what you use in the comment section below, Google built in is basically like having an Android phone in your car. And I think it's great. It comes with a three year unlimited data plan and the suite includes Google Maps with live traffic integration, Google Play where you can download the latest Android apps and Google Assistant which allows you to use your voice to operate those apps, vehicle functions, as well as texting or making a call. Hey Google, turn up the AC. Got it, turning down the temperature by four degrees. You can have a little fun with it too if you like. Tell me a joke. Did you hear about the snowman that got upset when the sun came out? He had a total meltdown. <laughs> so now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. Accords have typically had a sporty driving demeanor engineered into them. And while some of that was lost in recent gens, this car feels rather familiar, and I like it. Right off the bat, steering is responsive, and the suspension is comfortable with that slight bit of firmness contributing to the agility that Accords typically have. The chassis is also very stable, providing plenty of confidence as I hustle through my back roads. I realize this isn't how people would typically drive a car like this, but it represents how it should handle in an emergency situation. The brakes feel great too, and you can use these paddles to adjust how much regenerative braking is applied when you let off the gas, but power is fairly adequate. The engine is efficient though, starting and stopping quickly without any hoopla. <laughs> so it does its job well without you even knowing. Overall, the powertrain is extremely smooth. The backup camera isn't the clearest I've seen, but the A-pillars have been streamlined and there's plenty of greenhouse, so visibility isn't an issue. Also, only the slightest road noise makes its way into the cabin. And speaking of cameras, it appears as though Honda got rid of their lane watch view that shows up in the dash. I never used it much anyway, but it's something worth noting. I've got to say, I'm happy to experience Honda's Accord again. And with over 500 miles of range, there's not much stopping this hybrid from a lovely road trip. Well, except for maybe bathroom breaks.
So there you have it guys, the totally redesigned 2023 Honda Accord Hybrid Touring. With plenty of interior space, fuel efficiency, and good driving dynamics, this Accord Hybrid is a car I can talk about again when you ask what car to buy. So should you? Well, that's for you to decide. So take one on a test drive and let us know. It should be on your list though. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why don't football players get hot? Because of all the fans. <laughs>